All right, folks, this is Harris Sultan, the ex-Muslim atheist, and welcome to another episode of Sultan's House of Sin. Right. You know, I often talk about one of the most disgusting things in Islam that really shocked me, and it shocked me when I was when I, I had already left Islam by that point, like, I mean, I had left Islam on philosophical grounds, such as, you know, no evidence for God, is there morality in Islam, good Islam, or, or science in, in, in Islam, correct. But one of the things, and I had found out, but one of the things that actually shocked me the most, that upset me the most, was the concept of sex slavery. And you might have noticed that I often bring it up and whenever i'm speaking or arguing with a muslim apologist i just throw that in their face and i am yet to see someone give me a good logical response to sex slavery um the reason why it shocked me so much because when you grow up thinking that oh islam is sexually very conservative but then on the other hand it's perfectly fine in going attacking a tribe of your enemy killing their men and having sex with their wives no problem that's why it shocked me, and I and I'm hundred percent certain that every time I throw that in the face of a Muslim apologist, or sorry, a, an ordinary Muslim who doesn't know, an ordinary Pakistani Muslim who doesn't know these things, and it actually happened to me last week on my Uttu screen. This guy who came in to defend Islam, he was like, "Oh, the the video I'm about to show you." He was like, "Oh, I didn't know that." <laughs> so something so central to Islam, slavery and sex slavery, majority of Pakistani Muslims don't even know that. They think sex is only limited to your wives. And in Pakistani culture, most of the people, actually polygamy is not even practiced in Pakistan to an extent it is practiced in Afghanistan or some other Arab countries. So, so as a result, Pakistan is a very sexually conservative country or sexually repressive as a result of that and, and ends up becoming sexually frustrated country. But concept of sex slavery is totally unknown to them. So I remembered seeing this video a while ago on Pakistan National TV, one of the seemingly progressive, probably now I think he might be an agnostic or an, I, I, I don't know, I shouldn't get into that business. But anyway, he, he's quite a progressive person. Um, Mubashar Lukman, a major Pakistani TV host. A few years ago, he brought in a couple of clerics and he was like, he was shocked. Now at that point, he was in his 40s, maybe, maybe 40s. And him thinking, living his entire life as a Muslim, he was he was shocked. He was talking about what there was sex slavery in Islam. Have a look at this video. Surat Nisa, उसमे चौथे स्पारे में एक कायत है और उसमें कहा है कि और अगर इस बात का देशा हो कि औरतों से इंसाफ नहीं कर सकोगे तो एक ही औरत से निकाह कर लो या किसी बांदी से ताल्लुक कायम कर लो हाँ जी ठीक है बिल्कुल सही है आप कुरानी भी तो हम कौन होते हैं तो रात करने वाले लेकिन नहीं नहीं मैं कुछ मैं तर्जुमे की बात करो मैं तर्जुमे के ऊपर कह रहा हूँ सही है तर्जुमा तर्जुमा ठीक है लेकिन बांदी है क्या बांदी क्या बांदी वही है जो कंटोनमेंट से औरत पकड़ी जाएगी उसको अमीर लश्कर जो है फोर्स का कमांडर डिस्ट्रीब्यूट करेगा यानी इसका मतलब आपने जब मैंने डिस्ट्रीब्यूट करनी मैं मैंने अब मैंने मैं ठहर गया ठहर यानी एक लड़की पकड़ी गई और उसको मैंने अपनी नौकरानी बना लिया एक मिनट एक मिनट मैं मैं बस सवाल पूरा कर लूं क्योंकि अब ये सवाल मेरे मैं इंटरेस्ट लेके कर रहा हूं और उसके साथ मुझे सोहबत की इजाजत है बगैर निकाह के अब जरा बात सुन लें जी अगर कमांडर इन चीफ ने जो औरत पकड़ी अब आपने बात नहीं कहा जनरल जानी साहब ने पकड़ के मुझे दे दिया अब क्या अब आप अब आपने अब आपने बात पूरी सुननी है आप कंटेक्स से बात काटते ना इसलिए मैं कहता हूं इसमें कंटेक्स की तरफ आए आप कमांडर इन चीफ ने औरत पकड़ी गई जंग के दौरान अब एक सूरत यह है कि उसे कत्ल कर दिया जाए दूसरी सूरत उसको मंडी भेज दिया जाए तीसरी सूरत या किसी मुसलमान के प्रदर्शन में आ जाए अगर प्रदर्शन में आ जाएगी मर्द उसे अपनी डिजायर पूरी करता है तो इसमें कोई कबाहत वाली बात नहीं है एक मिनट नहीं कबाहत मैं तो मैं क्यों कबाहत की बात करूंगा मैं आपके साथ हाँ। इस पे मैं बिल्कुल ऑन सेम पेज हूं फर्क यह है तो कि मुझे हाँ। ये समझ नहीं आ रहा कि ये बगैर निकाह के हो सकता तो जाहरी बात देखे दो तरह की प्रॉपर्टी होती है एक मिनट सर मैं प्रॉपर्टी की बात ही नहीं कर रहा मैं अभी उसकी उसकी मैकेनिक्स में जा ही नहीं रहा मैं ये कह रहा हूँ कि बगैर निकाह के मैकेनिक्स में जाना पड़ता है बगैर निकाह के आप मुझे कह रहे हैं कि बगैर निकाह के सेक्स की इजाजत है 
बीवी से नहीं बीवी के साथ निकाह करना पड़ेगा मैं बांदी की बात कर रहा हूँ लॉन्डी की बात बांदी की हाँ हाँ बिल्कुल बांदी से ज्यादा था निकाह के बगैर बांदी की टर्म का मतलब यही है आपको कुरानी चीज का तजे सो द बिगेस्ट bone of contention for the host was oh so you can have sex without the official marriage called nikah which also means f u c k <laughs> but anyway besides the point so and did you notice how he ended up saying oh okay uh, who am i to object the quran but he was saying that i'm kind of shocked that that is allowed so When I heard that I think this was 6 7 years ago maybe 5 6 years ago when I first watched it I was like oh he is going the right way because no sane person after after finding this out can remain a muslim no I don't know how people like Jazib and all these guys actually remain muslim after knowing that this is allowed and I always give this to um, as a reference to 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 Pakistan is like imagine imagine Indians come and it, a battalion of indian soldiers they come they kill all of you they kill all the men and then they start taking these women as as their slaves and then do whatever they want just imagine that okay men will be dead at least but what if you're a 9 or 10 year old boy any older you probably might get might get killed because in islam if you have pubic hair and armpit hair etc you are considered as a grown up man as happened with the incident of banu qurayza where 7 to 800 jews were killed in a single day by prophet muhammad uh, including the ones who had armpit hair from the ages of 13 or 14 so imagine you're a 9 10 year old you're seeing you've just seen your father getting killed your elder brother getting killed your grandfather getting killed and now your mother is being taken away by one indian soldier your sister has been taken away by another soldier and then so on Just imagine that. Just imagine. You'd be like, "Oh, that's pretty disgusting." That's exactly what ISIS did. When you people say, "Oh, ISIS got nothing to do with Islam." ISIS was doing exactly what Muhammad had allowed it to be done. And this is why Al-Baghdadi said that my Allah has allowed me to have sex slaves. Who is you and O to tell me that I can't have them? So, just imagine that. Just imagine for a moment. and um i don't i don't think i i i really can't get my head around it i had a very interesting conversation with a british dawa guy uh some dawa guy not not the dawa guy but some uh british muslim apologist and um about sex slavery i think i put it up there and it was just like it, it just doesn't make any sense no one no one to this date has ever been able to defend that So forget about the complicated philosophical arguments. Forget about uh, bees. Uh, the uh, Quran had mentioned female bees produce honey, which it doesn't. Or, or you know, Quran mentioned the Big Bang. Forget about all of that. Just think about this issue of sex slavery. How could the Creator of billions of galaxies allow that? Even if he does exist and he allowed that, he is a pathetic being. He does not deserve to be worshipped. and that's what you believing in to help me produce more videos like these support me on patreon or paypal